BuddyPress is a WordPress plugin that adds social networking features to a site to help attract and engage users. BuddyPress features include friend connections, activity streams, private messaging, user groups, and discussion forums that can be used for school networks, niche interests, or even internal communications for a company. In addition, there are hundreds of add-on plugins that have been developed to enhance the social contact for your site with BuddyPress. This video is about installing and setting up BuddyPress on a single installation of WordPress. Until recently, BuddyPress could only be used on multi-user installations of WordPress. But with the integration of the multi-user in WordPress, BuddyPress can now be used with a single installation of WordPress. This install of BuddyPress will be on a fresh setup of WordPress using the default theme so the social networking features of the plugin can be seen with fewer distractions. Since BuddyPress adds a lot of social networking features to a site that most themes do not have, it requires either a BuddyPress ready theme or adding BuddyPress support to your present theme, which can be done with an additional plugin. There are several themes available that are designed specifically for BuddyPress, or you can integrate BuddyPress into your existing theme with a BuddyPress template pack plugin. To install the BuddyPress plugin, navigate to the plugin's admin panel and the Add New screen. In the search box, enter BuddyPress and click the Search Plugins button. Locate the BuddyPress plugin and click the Install Now link. Click OK to start the install process. When the Success screen appears, click the Activate Plugin link. At the top of the screen, you'll get a yellow banner with a successful install and a link to the installation wizard. There will also be a new BuddyPress admin panel. Click on the installation wizard link and that will take you to the BuddyPress setup screen. You can also click on the BuddyPress admin panel to get to this screen. The first screen is a list of the various BuddyPress components. All of the components are checked by default. You can uncheck any feature that you don't want to use initially. You can add or hide any feature later to suit your needs. If this is a new feature for your site, then you may want to introduce these components slowly to help your users learn the new setup and to prevent information overload. For now, we'll leave all the features selected. Click on the Save and Next button. This will take you to the Pages screen. These pages are used in the default theme as tabs for navigation. These pages will be generated automatically for you, but you do have the option of changing these to a custom page. For now, we'll let BuddyPress generate these for us. Click on the Save and Next button. The permalink gives you a set of options for your permalinks. If you have permalinks set to the default setting, then one of these will be chosen for you. To ensure that the BuddyPress pages you just created work properly, you'll need to set the permalinks to anything but the default setting. If you don't like the choice that was chosen, you can click the Permalink Settings Page link and you'll be taken to the Permalinks page where you can select the one that you want. Click the Save button on the Permalink Settings page and then click the BuddyPress Admin panel and it will return you to the BuddyPress setup. If you make a selection and save it on the Permalinks page, then you'll notice that all the buttons are clear. If you want to use one of these, then select one of these radio buttons. You can now click on the Save and Next button to continue. BuddyPress adds social networking features to your site. Most themes do not come with the necessary templates to use these features, so they need to be added to your theme, or you'll need to use a theme that already has the features enabled. On the Theme Setting page, you have three choices. Use the default BuddyPress theme, use the BuddyPress Template Pack plugin to add these features to the theme you're already using, or manually integrating BuddyPress into your site. If you're a developer or a designer and have a highly customized theme already and you want to make changes yourself, then choosing the Do Not Change theme will install the BuddyPress plugin, but it'll be up to you to get it integrated and functioning. Or if you already have a theme that you want to use and you want to integrate BuddyPress into it, then the next option is what you want. This requires the installation of the BuddyPress template pack. It's a relatively simple and easy process that can be done in a few minutes. Installing and using the BuddyPress template pack 
is in a separate video. If you want to get up and running fast, or you've not selected the theme, the default theme may be a good choice. This is a good starting point, and the default BuddyPress theme can be customized like any other WordPress theme to fit your needs. You can later change themes from the default by simply selecting and activating another theme. If it's not BuddyPress ready, then you'll need to run the BuddyPress Template Pack plugin. For this video, we're installing the default theme. Make a choice and click the Save and Next button. On the next screen, click the Finish and Activate button to complete the install. This completes the install for the default BuddyPress theme. It will take you to the Components screen where you can now activate or deactivate different components, make changes to the pages, have access to other settings, and to manage forms. The forms in BuddyPress have a version of BBPress installed. These forms are created in a group and are attached to that individual group. If you already have BBPress installed, then you want to select the existing installation button. We do not have the BBPress plugin installed, so we can select the Install Group Forms button. If you do not want each form to be group specific, then you can choose to have a site wide form where they are not group specific. Click the Install Site Wide Forum for that feature. We'll be using the Install Group Forums. Clicking on the button will take you to the Complete Installation button. Click this button to finish the install of the forums. Forums are now available for each group created. Now in order for someone to register on the site, you'll need to make this feature available to users. BuddyPress integrates with the WordPress membership roles. To allow user registration, navigate to the Settings Admin Panel and the General Page. On the Membership line, check the Anyone Can Register box and click the Save Changes button. This allows users to sign up to use the BuddyPress features by activating a link to the Sign Up screen. Without this checked, you'll need to manually create any new user. BuddyPress added the new pages automatically for you, if you chose that option. It also added new widgets to the Appearance widget screen, and the BuddyPress admin panel changed to reflect the new functions and added a profile field screen so you can customize the information you collect from new users. The theme will be the BuddyPress default theme with the BuddyPress admin bar across the top of the page and a menu for the different pages that were created and a sign up link if you have the Anyone Can Register active. It has a sidebar widget available along with four footer widget areas. Now that you have BuddyPress installed, you can customize the theme, change to a new theme, and make changes to fit your style. There are hundreds of additional plugins available to enhance your user's experience. All of these features are covered in other videos in this series.